Hey, I'm Mike Smith here in my garage in South Riding, Virginia, and happy to talk to you today about the pandemic. So I have a public affairs firm, and I do a lot of work uh, on Capitol Hill. I also work with a marketing company in Alexandria called Yes And Agency, which does digital as well as public relations. We have had a, a pretty good hit, but we've also been able to turn some of our meetings into virtual meetings for our clients. We've been able to uh, pivot and be able to offer creative solutions using uh, online uh, for approvals, for example. Um, working with one of our friends, we're doing something with our Here Congo Foundation to help uh, families in the mines, in the cobalt mines in the uh, Lualaba region, in the province, and uh, we're still doing that work. We're still very much actively pursuing stories and interviews around mining conditions, and a concern that these mines are largely owned by the Chinese, and the COVID-19 uh, virus may be coming into the mines where people work very closely together. So there's no social distancing in a mine, that's for sure. So uh, the humanitarian concerns that we have around Congo and cobalt is something we're working on together right now. Yeah, I just think the whole idea of the new normal is just crazy. There is no new normal. Uh, we have got to define it as we go along. I think for companies and clients we work with, we're trying to get people to pivot during the pandemic and be ready for the reopening. Uh, the only way we can reopen really is with um, source tracing and with uh, proper testing and so that we know basically who's got antibodies or who's uh, still potentially contagious. And so that's gonna take a long time. So I think what we're gonna see is um, more uh, of the same distancing. Um, obviously virtual meetings like Zoom has gone up uh, a hundredfold um, to hundreds of millions of users. Um, I think churches will still meet remotely. I think that we'll have a different way of celebrating things with our uh, distance learning. I think for education, we're he here to stay with online learning. Uh, we have a couple clients in that space, American Military University. They've been doing distance learning a long time because they've been traveling uh, for military maneuvers. And um, we have another client, Presence Learning, that's teaching special ed kids. But the, the point is that I think the learning module of um, teachers learning how. I have my best friend is a biology teacher here at Freedom High School, right in our neighborhood. Well, he doesn't know how to teach biology online because they have to do experiments. And they have to have stuff, you know, a burner in front and, and test tubes. And uh, so it's a new modality. You'll have to send the experiments home and have them work uh, remotely and show you their work. So I think we're in for a whole different paradigm of how we live, work, and play. Uh, I do think there's been a huge movement back to nature. People want to be outside. They want to go for walks. No one's going to give up their walks uh, or their runs in my case. People want to stay outside. I think it's brought me closer to my wife uh, because I'm um, a person who works a lot of hours normally or in an office. Um, the office is in Alexandria. We're in South Riding. That's about an hour and 10 minutes away. So I'm not commuting two or three hours a day. Uh, and I'm with my wife three meals a day breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and so it's brought us even closer together.